Hello, I'm Jim Reese, Director of Business Development at Offit Kerm, and joined here today with the one and only Farmer Chippy, Executive Director at Plantation Park Heights Urban Farm. And Chippy, it's a so great to see you. I just got a, a virtual tour from Farmer Chippy, and what he's doing is amazing. We got a couple minutes for a little Q and A here with Farmer Chippy. So, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing all right, Jim. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. Um, so, Farmer Chippy, tell us about the uh, Plantation Park Heights Urban Farm. What do you do there, and what makes you different from other urban farms, even if there are urban farms? Yeah, well, thanks. Thanks for having me, first of all. Well, the Plantation Park Heights Urban Farm was started in 2014 by a bunch of concerned citizens right here in Baltimore, in Park Heights. We wondered how we can um, get clean and nutritious foods in our bellies since all the grocery stores were so, so, you know, so far away. We decided to grow food on vacant lots with children, and that picked up. We got to onboard the parents, the children, teachers, students. Everybody started growing. And now we have a built a place called Agrihood Baltimore. This is a thriving marketplace where we have three farmers market weekly. Uh, you know, community shared and supported agriculture, like I mentioned, children and adults are growing together on vacant plots to help those who are senior. And then, um, you know, a thriving uh, workplace, you know, a training resource institute. So this institute not only brings the next generation of farmers, it also trains PhDs on how to deal with this group because we've been left out prior to COVID. So that's who we are now. And we're excited because market season is close. Oh, yeah. Chippy, um, how many acres are you farming right now in the Park Heights area? And, and give us an idea of the kind of, of stuff that you're, uh, that you're growing. So we have a lot of space in Park Heights. A lot of it is uh, empty, uh, empty lots. And uh, some of it is like abandoned parks. What we've done, uh, we're growing all the brassicas this season. So anything that's related to a cabbage, so like a kale, mustard greens, those type of things, we're growing that right now. And then in the middle of the season, we switch over to peppers and, you know, eggplants, tomatoes, things like that. But it's all short-term crops, and it's crops that's available for our, our community. So it's, most of it is culturally appropriate. So callaloo, for those of you who know, scotch bonnet peppers and scorpion peppers, we like the heat. We also make a pepper sauce. So that's where we are right now. But we're working on other things, obviously. Yeah. And you also showed me some spices that you're growing, some fruit trees um, and some tulips. Tell us about that. Yeah. So tulips is part of our beautification project. Um, we try to grow flowers because, you know, Park Heights hosts two major events. That's one, the big Preakness sticks. And then we have a Caribbean carnival that's coming up in July. Uh, we had it on the east side. Now it's back on the west side. It's coming down Park Heights. So we're on a beautification campaign right now by growing a bunch of flowers, including tulips and hibiscus. And we put them in little boxes, these planter boxes that were designed and built by our children, and they're going to be aligned along the street. Yeah, they're, 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 good. they're beautiful. So, Chippy, um, what are you most proud of with, with this project that you have? What makes you most proud? To see the children that I have met in elementary school and middle school move on to now law school, uh, med school, um, contractors, you know, it's just amazing to see the development of the children around Urban Ag. So Urban Ag is so amazing. It wasn't just learning to grow food. It was just giving them this confidence that they can do it. This collective neighborhood, a community of people who supported them from beginning to end. We can't take credit for them becoming who they are, but it's just wonderful to be, to be here to see the development. And I think that, that piece is hard to explain, and it brings a joy. When I come to the farm and I see all these folks around hanging out, nobody's here to earn money. Everyone's here because they choose to be here. Everyone's here, we, we, we grow food, we, we distribute food, we, we raise children, we have events. We do art. So it's more of a community and urban agriculture should be considered a community as opposed to a place where we just do numbers around food. 
yeah. So that's the yeah. piece that I'm really proud about. The, the vibe that we've built here and the confidence we've been able to instill in these children where they walk around just doing amazing things, you know. That, that's that's a that's that's fabulous. Um, so uh, what you do, I guess, is very much dependent on weather, and the weather seems to be changing for the better right now. So what do the next six months look like for you and your urban ag project? Well, there's a series of things going on here, but in a nutshell, we're going to continue to get the word out around urban agriculture and its benefits making it a platform for new and beginner farmers to onboard and also making it a vehicle to bring those who were not considered earlier, like our corner boys, bring them an opportunity to earn revenue and be part of the game. That is going to go on all year. And so from the 7th of June until the 23rd of November, we're going to be pursuing three different farmers markets. One at the Johns Hopkins, that's a lunch market between 10 and 12 on Thursdays. One at Jared Hill Farmer's Market, the old Jared Hill. So it's Jared Hill Park. That one's called Agrihood Baltimore Farmer's Market. That's going to have about 15 to 20 vendors, all different types. And it's going to be a platform to showcase the talent in beautiful Baltimore. And then, of course, our Saturday night market, four in the afternoon to nine at night, right here at the Plantation Park Heights Urban Farm, where you can taste the tropics where we have music from the Caribbean and exotics, dishes and meals that you can try. Also, the pepper sauce, though. Don't forget that. Uh, the <laughs> pepper sauce, homemade. <laughs> hey, Chippy, um, wh what you're doing is fabulous. I know people are going to be asking me this question, so I'm going to ask you so you can share it with everybody who's going to be watching this. How can people help you? Well, you can donate, donate, donate. Go to the plantationparkheights.org. That's plantationparkheights.org. And hit the donate button and be generous because the money that you donate is going to continue this amazing work we're doing. We don't just want to have this in the corners of Baltimore. We are looking to take this nationwide and we're working with some of our coolest innovators, including your boy, Andrew, to take this nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know you're talking about Andrew Rose, so shout out to Andrew Mom Rose. Rose. <laughs> All right, Chippy, finally, last question. This is a fun question. Uh, I, I'm assuming most people watching this video don't have any idea who you are. So what do people watching this video not know about Farmer Chippy? A real secret. What do people not know about you? I am a big servant. Like... Is no is my least favorite word, and together is something I really admire. So those are things that people don't know. I may appear different in different situations. It's to protect my heart, but together we can do this thing, and I don't think we will fail. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's that's a great note to end it on. Uh, this has been a, a great experience for me. Thank you so much for sharing all of what you're doing with with me and my network and the people out there who don't already know you. This is fabulous. I encourage people to reach out to Farmer Chippy, go to the website, donate, get down there, see what he's doing with urban agriculture. It is amazing. So, Thank you, Jim. Thanks you for the platform, brother. Thank you. Yeah, man. It was great seeing you. I'll be seeing you soon. Excellent. <laughs> Take Thank care, my well. friend. See ya. All righty. Bye.